that gets taught in our league because our league has been feast off potential. And LeBron couldn't say this any better. The league is definitely a feast off potential. That's why you see the NBA media at large praise guys like Tyrese Halliburton and Ben Simmons before his little meltdown against the Hawks. But yet you see them perplexed when they see guys like Jimmy Butler get to the NBA Finals two out of the last three years. And also guys like Jalen Brunson. The NBA media is very confused on how to just overall evaluate this guy because they don't see the potential in the athleticism. And that's where a lot of the NBA scouts kind of get stuck at is looking at the athleticism, a lot of the tangibles that the player brings to the game, but they don't really look at the intangibles. That's how they got caught slipping with Ben Simmons because in reality, the 76ers, when they had lost to the Toronto Raptors in the Eastern Conference Finals, they should have stuck with Jimmy Butler and traded Ben Simmons. But yet the potential they saw in Ben Simmons because of his athleticism had the media sold, which in reality, that was the bullshit. Guys with potential, they come in and say, this guy has potential. We have to... If it's not year one, maybe year two, or not year... Not year three, not year four, not year five, a.k.a. Zion Williams. When is he going to pop? They still talk about him as if he's some sort of star that's going to lead a team. But yet, five years in, we haven't seen any of this potential come true. It's just now starting to come to light with the Pelicans recently getting hot. But the expectations are really a lot lower than where they should be. As this season, it's rumored that he lost 25 pounds. But in reality, he should have lost 25 pounds four years ago. Three or maybe year four. Are we going to pick up his option in year four? Like, it's been, it's been grasped on potential. Like, that has been... Once again, it couldn't play out any better than Zion Williams. He got a max rookie-scale contract extension, even though he was virtually absent for the first four years of his career. The whole thing of the lottery. The whole thing of the lottery, pick one through 13 or 14, I don't even know what it is now when it cuts off like you've been a lottery pick. But it makes sense why those guys that's like 16 to 30, 16 to 42, why those guys be on real contending teams making impacts. It's also, no... why is it the same teams that always draft well? <laughs> and why is it always the same teams that pick top seven? But yet they always end up being in the same scenario the following season. Teams that always draft poorly. I'll tell you when I get my team, <laughs> the teams that draft well, those guys will be working for me for sure. LeBron speaking about being an NBA owner as if the deal is already done, set, and sealed. 